At least we know his game. We are going to be making this as part of our series for our Dream Team Chronicles that we've been playing. I'm just going to throw a deep line on Tenali and see how he operates um, and get straight into a match here. Should be a goal here. Oh, Ronaldo, did you see that little flick away? I think they've definitely changed the defending, or the... I think they've definitely changed the interceptions, lads. I've noticed that a lot. Oof. He's definitely playing Amarat back there. Well done, Killer Doba. Neymar. Neymar slips in. He didn't know much about it, lads. If I get one goal against this guy, it's game over. And this should be it. Boom! There we go. Ah, oh, this is magical. Natoma with a little bounce, lads. Barry's like the jealous king. <laughs> the jealous girlfriend. No, Neymar, on your bike, son. Oh, Matoma, behave yourself. Oh. Oh, I tried to do one more flick and I shouldn't have. That's what she said. That's a nice play from him, but I've seen it all before, boy. Oh, quicken it up, Enzo. Oh, my God. Ronaldo with the run. This is what he's deadly at. Oh, brilliant run. Ooh, cruncher. This guy's trying to take a bit of the ball, man. Ah, oh, brilliant, Cristiano. Oh, it's beautiful with the left foot finish, lads. That's what Cristiano can do, man. A lot of people... I actually have a video coming on Cristiano. Oh, brilliant, Ronaldo. Oh, oh Ronaldo! Oh, it's a beautiful goal, and he's back at it again, lads. Cristiano Ronaldo. Classic number 10 play style, uh, Vazzy. Best advice I can give to you is um, if you're using a classic number 10, like Del Piero, his, his AI is just completely busted, man. It doesn't work. I don't care what anyone says. It just doesn't move the same way as, like... I don't know, man. He's just very difficult to judge how they move. Like, even a creative playmaker. Like, if I put Messi here, like, it's just a completely different gameplay that you do. They, like, they just... Sometimes they move when you put counter-target on them because it overrides their obvious... Like, the actual classic 10, but... Good hit. No... No, not like that. No, man. Thank God he didn't score that. Holy moly. His game. Alright, it's time for changes, lads. It's gonna go out wide again. You're unpredictable. You're too predictable. Man, like, them blind passes, they have to go, man. Look, man. Look at that for blind passes, man. See what I mean there? That's one of the biggest problems in the game right there that you're after seeing there. That's one of the biggest problems you're after seeing in the game right there. And we'll have a look at that in the second. In the second. Oof. That's one of the biggest problems in the game, man.
Oh, Messi. He's not playing now. That's fine. We'll just score another one with Messi. How bad? But after that, I don't know, man. Like, my expectations are different, I suppose, than what I think will happen. But, like, my dream case scenario would be if they added some sort of mode um, that, they're, that they're going to improve, that it makes it more of a grind, if that makes sense. But let's see, man. All right, so that was two wins from two. A fairly handy win there. But this is what I'm talking about here, man. Look, right with this. And this isn't hating. This isn't anything. This is nothing. It's just, a, it's just a point that I always, you know, try to put out some of the negatives and the positives, the positives and the negatives. Back, like, right, that's a fine. I won't even complain about that. See this pass here, right? See this pass with Messi. This really frustrates me, man. It really frustrates me. Because he's literally just passing 180 into space. Look, who's he passing it to? Nobody. Finds its way to Tami Yasu. I clear it. Grant, he wins the header. That's fine. And there you go again. Back heel, one touch. And then the backwards 180 pass. And Van Basten gets around me. It's so, 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 so annoying, man. Look at this pass here. That is the assist from Haaland, right? Look. He's literally facing his mother in the crowd. Passes. And Van Basten gets in from this position. I can't get control of my player, even though I have him targeted. You can see the icon above his head. People will say to me, right, if I lost this game 2-1, and people are like, oh, you're just bitching, you're just bitching. You lost the game fair and square, right? It's not about losing the game fair and square. It's the fact that I have done everything right that the pad is letting me do. Every single button I can press is being pressed, and he still gets ahead of me. Look, he still gets ahead of me with Kunde and finishes. Those things really frustrate me in the game, man. But anyway, we get two wins.